The way products are being marketed on Amazon are changing in a very interesting way. We're now able to decrease the launching time and we're able to bring products to market in a way much faster than ever before. Stay tuned and in this video we're going to talk about how we took a client's product and we brought it to market supercharged. You'll see how we covered every aspect of this launch in advance and with the correct system and processes we're able to execute at a very rapid pace. Here's my step-by-step -step guide on how to build an Amazon FBA product in a very quick time frame and still get great returns. Our client really wanted to go in the kitchen and dining niche and had some really good contacts at Giant. He brought us a pretty unusual product idea at the time. He pitched us to create a bamboo steamer and bring it to market when everyone else was selling steel steamers. It was very interesting and out of the box thinking at the time. But we said, hold on. Let's take this idea to the next level. We did a ton of product research on Amazon. How many sellers are selling these? What is the reviews of the competitors? Is there room for product improvement? Is there room for us to come into the market at these current prices? And does it make sense for us from a margin standpoint? Are we able to bring something to market that's better than the current existing products? So we jumped in and did market and keyword research. As we did complete keyword distribution research, we found some interesting trends. We found out that the bamboo steamer also shares the same subcategory as its counter apart the steel steamer. We took a look at the sales trend, did a season identification, we did a search volume audit, what was the volume and what were the keywords and how many keywords were there. We took a look at the profit margins calculator. We took a look at all the top 10 sellers and what it looked like in terms of sales and revenue. That way we could project our future inventory and how much we needed for the launch. And we also could use that information to understand what our possible cash flow would look like. After doing an in-depth review analysis, we determined that this product needed to have the utmost quality in terms of what type of material we were using to create it. And we determined that we'd be able to sell this product for $18.25. During the launch period, having a low price generally helps with building that flywheel initially. We checked Alibaba, AliExpress, $16.88, and we looked through 10 different suppliers and found the best one that we felt most comfortable with in terms of quality as well as price. That process takes some time. We reach out to multiple different sellers and we create a short list and then we vet them very carefully because the backbone of this Amazon business is having a good quality supplier that's gonna continue to deliver you good quality quality products at affordable prices with minimal defects. So that way you're keeping down the negative reviews and you're keeping the positive reviews. We decided to add a sauce dish to this bamboo steamer. Since bamboo steamers are used to make dumplings generally, by including this sauce pan, we could reach our customers and provide more value and also help improve their original main image in order to capture the customers that are coming to the Amazon page. It was a very low price point improvement to the product and we ran some pick food tests to see what our initial thoughts were in the marketplace Place, if people think that this would make enough of a difference where they would buy our product instead of competitors. After we got that information back, it looked good. So we decided to move forward with the product idea. We placed an order for three months of inventory, which is around 3,000 units at $5 each, quick $15,000 check, and we got started. That's inclusive of all the shipping, QC, so on and so forth. Meanwhile, we jumped deep into the marketplace. We did a full competitor analysis. We looked at all of our competition. What are they doing? And how can we improve our listing to show and incentivize our customers to purchase our product over their product. We built a roadmap on how we want to present this brand. And then afterwards, we started curating how we would like to present the product and gave instructions to the photographer on how to take pictures. And we put together the massive pain points and the crucial elements that we needed to include into the listing in order for us to be successful. We sent our product to a designer as well as a photographer who was a team. They went, took photos and started curating the elements that we needed. And after a few revisions, we had enough information to take it and move it in and finalize our listing. We used the copywriter to create very good copy rank for the title, bullet points, and overall presentation of how we want to present the product. We created a very attractive listing at a much cheaper price point since it wasn't steel. We used high resolution images, enhanced with EBC content, decided to set up a website as well as all social medias, Facebook, TikTok, and we scheduled promotions outside to help bring traffic into Amazon and assist in ranking the product. When the production was done, we sent some inventory by air, which is much more expensive, but we justified it because we wanted to get everything going. The rest of the units we shipped by C and as soon as the inventory got in, we structured the PPC campaign and got started. Once we started receiving the inventory on Amazon, we launched the Facebook as well as the Instagram campaigns, and then we decided to start the PPC as well. From there, we decided to set up some affiliate links in order to increase the BSR rating through external traffic. We were utilizing promotional codes, 10, 20, 25% discounts. We got some influencers inside the kitchen and dining niche to help get some traction for the product. For the first two weeks, 90% of the sales were actually from influencers and external 
general traffic. By the end of the two weeks, the product was organically on the first page of Amazon. The goal of the campaign was to get as much of the influencers to leave positive reviews as possible while following Amazon's terms of service. Honest reviews only, it was not a requirement. It was just something bonus that was very helpful for us that they were able to provide it. We were able to get up to 18 reviews with a 4.7 star rating. That week, we were able to get the number one spot for the highest volume search word, which was around 8,000. Organic sales were now coming in around 30% where PPC was at 70%. We slowly started increasing our pricing by 25, 30 cents per day to make sure that it wasn't affecting our conversions too much as we started to scale the product up. Then we started lowering the ads on Facebook and Instagram and focused primarily on Amazon PPC. At this point, our organic sales had increased up to 45% of our total sales. We have been able to increase the price up to the value that we wanted. The reviews increased around 32. The total sales was 952 for the first month. The daily sales was around 30, around 330 units of those were from organic and the rest were from the PPC. At this point, only 5% of the sales were coming from Facebook and Instagram. We were ready to finish those advertisements. That means 95% of the traffic was now from Amazon, organic, as well as PPC. There was a net profit around $7 per unit. The ads did really well because the product is very good. The copywriting was very good and we had an overall very good conversion ratio. We moved it to deep PPC keyword review in order to start really scaling out our PPC program. We had the unfortunate case of getting a one-star review because of the ship issues with Amazon. However, we were able to open a case and get it removed. We sold 254 units out of which 238 of those units were organic. Now we just needed to match daily sales velocity of 25 to 35 units per day. We placed another one month inventory into Amazon. That way we could make sure we would never run out of stock. At the very end, we had 100% organic sales. 267 units were sold in the third week. 227 units were sold in the fourth week, giving us a total amount of units of 979 units sold over the month. The selling price is at $21.99, giving a total revenue of $18,866. Now you know my exact strategy, how we took this product from $0 to around $20,000 in revenue in the span of four months, just by doing Amazon FBA, private label. And hopefully you can take a few things from the video and apply it to your business or apply it to the product you're planning on launching soon. Having said that, applying all this information can be difficult. If you wanna learn how you can actually rank your products number one on Amazon and have hundreds of thousands of people eventually buy your product, you can click the link in my description and I'm happy to assist you. I have an Amazon consulting agency called Gigabrain. We're here to provide value for those who need it. I look forward to continuing to ship you content and delivering you value. Thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.